Welcome back to the AEC video series. In this video series on micro integrations, we're going to cover the custom user details MI. In some installations, you may want to collect additional information at the on the confirmation page when the user is checking out for the subscription. This micro integration allows that to be done. If we're using something to extend registration, such as Jam Social, K2, or even Community Builder, this really isn't needed because you can collect that information on the registration screen itself. But if you're not using any of those additional components, you can use this micro integration to collect that information. Now this information will only be shown to the administrator in the back end on the subscriber screen. There is real no, there really is no way for the user to see that information and to edit it. That's one thing to keep in mind when using this micro integration. So let's get started here. We'll click on micro integrations. And once we get to that screen, we're going to hit new. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to come down and highlight custom user details, hit apply. And we'll leave the settings where they are by default. Active yes, regular action yes, expiration action yes, user account update action yes, expire all instances only on first payment set to no, pre-expiration set to zero. Then we're going to go to the settings screen. The first thing we want to do is say how many fields we want. I usually add one more than the amount so there can be a description in there, but there's eight different field types. So we're going to say eight and take a look at each one of them. And then we're going to hit apply. And then if you notice, we'll come back to the settings screen. And now we have eight different areas to come in. On the first one we're going to look at is the input type of P. This is a paragraph which will actually give some information. So we're going to put a short name of P. Just right here, name, we're going to leave blank, description, and we'll just put in a P for there right now. And then the default value, I'm going to put in strong, so it's in bold. Please fill out the fields below. And then I'm going to end my strong so that just this is in bold. And then the next parts we're actually going to use each individual one to take a look. The first one will be input A, so we'll give it a short name, input A. This is actually the name that you'll refer to it by. No s spaces or funny characters. And then you have a switch here, whether it is mandatory or not mandatory. Right now, we'll just leave them not mandatory. And then we're going to put the same thing in here. Control C, name, input A, description, input A. We can give it whatever we want. And then the type is input A, the default. Now, input A is five characters is what they're allowed to input. For the short name here on the next one, we're going to do input B, make it input B type. We'll just copy this over. Input B is a 10 character area for them to enter in information. The next one is input C that we'll actually use. And we'll highlight input C for the type. Do the same thing for the name and the description. Imp, imp, excuse me, I gotta correct this to be C so that we actually can see it in the front end the way it's supposed to be seen. Input C is like a field label. There's no 5 or 10 setting on it for the width, the max width, but it's just one long label like you have here. And then the next one we're going to do is the input D type. And we'll copy that over here for the name and for the description. The type is input D. This is a text area input field. And then for the next one that we're actually going to do is going to be a list. And we'll give it a name of a list. Tell it it's a list type. Now, if you'll notice in here, we don't have anything to put in the values as of yet, but we will once we apply it. 
And then the la next one is going to be list language. And we'll do the same for the name and the description. This is going to give a language list that's already built into AEC. And then the last one is going to be a checkbox. And this is where they'll just check off yes or no on the item itself. If you can notice on this, we left the default values for each one alone. You can actually set in a default value if you want. Now we're going to hit apply. And that's going to take us back to the main MI tab. But we're going to go back to settings and then come down to the list area one that we created. And as you can see here, now we actually have an area called list items. In this list items area, we'll put in the item and then the description. So I'll put in here item one. And this will be description one. No, we'll put in item two. And then we put in the bar. Description two. Item three, bar. Description three. And now we'll actually hit save. Because we're done with this micro integration at this time. But we need to actually put it onto a plan and give it an actual test. I'm going to get rid of my previous one that I created here. So now we actually want to go to Payment Plans, Plans. Let's put it on the actual free registration. We're going to tell on the free registration plan, go to the Micro Integration tab, tell it to attach that one. We'll save it. And now we're going to go to the front end of the site. We'll log in as a test user who already has an account, tester, log in. And then when we actually go to the plans page in AEC and we click on the free registration, now you're going to see what we had done in the previous area. Here was the P area. Please fill out the fields below. Input A, input B, input C, input D, the list we created, the different languages that are available, and the checkbox. And that basically covers the creation and the application of the custom user details micro integration. The thing to remember here, however, is that these field values will be available through the JSON rewrite engine. What you would want to do is if you want to use those fields in any emails or populate some other fields with those field values, then you would need to look at and watch the video on the AEC rewrite engine. And in that one, I will tell you how to actually get these values that you have filled out in a custom user details micro integration. Thank you very much.